In our previous videos, we saw that we need a managed bean to be able to interact with the JSF page. And we also saw that we could use prime faces to give our JSF, JSF pages uh, more controls and a better look and feel as well. But to get to these, we have to convert our project to a Maven project. So in this video, we're going to take a look at J2EE integrations, and we are going to specifically look at the steps that we need to take uh, to create a Maven project. In Eclipse, it's actually straightforward. What we're going to do is go to our project, and we're going to right-click, and we are simply going to say configure, and then convert to Maven project. This will take it out of the native Eclipse build and into uh, into a Maven build. So group ID, artifact ID, that's all fine. Version is fine. Uh, packaging is war, which is appropriate, as this is a dynamic web project. So choose finish. Now I want you, before I choose finish, take a mental photograph of what you see right here. He knows there's not a POM XML. So I'll choose finish, and one of the artifacts that we get out of this process is this thing called POM XML. Now, the nice thing about Maven is it makes dependencies easy on us. And by dependency, I mean we need to have a third-party jar or third-party library, something like that. All we need to do then is specify that third-party library here in this POM file. And it will either try to get it under our user directory, or if it can't find it there, it will download it if it needs to. So under the user directory, what we'll typically find just a moment. We'll typically find a, a J2, uh, sorry, a .m2 folder. So Win7, there we go, .m2. This is the local Maven repository. When it downloads things, it's going to put them into this repository, and then it will be able to access them later. Similarly, if we do a Maven install, uh, it will take whatever we're working on, and it will compile it and move that as an official version out to this M2 directory. The version is what you see here. Here it's 001 snapshot. That's the version of the project that I'm building. Okay, so we want to integrate with a couple of third parties. We want to integrate with, uh, with Spring, and we also want to integrate with Prime Faces. So for Spring, there's quite a bit to Spring. We want to pick and choose what we actually need to integrate with. And in this case, our interest is in the dependency injection and the ability to be able to configure object instantiation through Spring using annotations. So for, the, for, the, for those two, we're going to need uh, Spring Context and also Java Inject. Additionally, we're going to need the Spring Web, which will allow us to specify objects as managed beans. I have these entries copied over into our virtual machine for easy use. They're going to go right under the build in our POM. So I'm going to run over, and as I mentioned, I've copied these dependencies already, and I will paste. So those are the spring dependencies that we're going to need. Additionally, while we're doing this, let's go ahead and grab the JS, uh, the uh, prime faces dependencies as well. Uh, so I'm going to paste those inside of the dependencies tag. Pay close attention here. I have a plural dependencies, and then within that, a repeating set of singular dependency. Now you see it's a little bit sloppy right now. In Eclipse, Control-Shift-F, even in an XML file, that will uh, do our tabbing for us and give it a much nicer look and feel. So you see for prime faces, in this case, we're requesting version 4. And for the prime faces themes, we're requesting 1.0.10. So I'm going to choose save. We see now with uh, save chosen that we're getting a red line on this dependency. And the reason is we need to add a repository to tell it where to find this dependency. So after a quick search on Stack Overflow, I find the correct repository. I'm going to go ahead and copy, and I'm going to paste and then an uh, Alt-Shift-F, and then we're going to save. And at this point, it looks like our red line has gone away. So I'm going to Control-M, and I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to choose Maven, and then we're going to, I'm sorry, I'm going to choose Run As, and then we're going to choose uh, Maven Install. Sit back, relax, enjoy some diet caffeinated beverage, and we'll let the build run. And finally, we see build success. So at this point, we have downloaded our 
our, our necessary dependencies from Maven. They're in our repository. Uh, and we see that now at 9.20 p.m., which is the correct time uh, on, on this clock on August 29th, that it has installed this Plant Places app here in my M2 repository. If we take a look under org, we're going to see Apache uh, and Prime Faces. So under Apache, we're going to see Maven. So we know that Maven was properly downloaded. And we also know that our Prime Faces and our themes were downloaded as well. So our, our all themes. That gets us set up into a nice place where we can start implementing both of these into our JSF project. And that's where we're going to pick up in our next recording. We'll see you then.